Well, hello there. So, about a week ago, I promised you guys, well, didn't really promise it, but told you guys uh, I would make a video about this fan. So, yeah, here it is. Took me a while to make it, but, yeah. So this is a Taurus Garbi. I guess the correct pronunciation is Taurus Garbi, with an Spanish accent. Olé. And all that, you know. Uh, so, it's a Taurus Garbi uh, fan from the late 1960s. There's really nothing to see about it, about, apart from the fact that, yeah. Hey, hey. I like to call it the sausage slicer because, yeah. Look at that grill. That's. Uh, so, this fan seems to be quite a popular model over here in Spain uh, they seem to have sold tons and tons of these now this is one of the earliest um, models because it has the completely <laughs> passed through uh, grill in it so this thing I found on a pile of mud it was completely dirty it was, well, the power cord was cut off. The original one was white. Uh, I hope I can find a white cord for it. In the meanwhile, I'm using this black cord. The switch didn't work. It was completely rusted inside. Um, I don't know. It was completely black like and sticky with tar. I haven't cleaned uh, the grill yet as much as I can. As you can see kind of the grime that it had before but yeah you couldn't even see the white on any of this so yeah it's a three bladed fan it runs at 250 sorry either 125 or 230 volts it had a switch in the bottom to go from one to the other but the switch was broken and I, sim I simply shorted it out as you can see, now that we're looking at the bottom, it has these holes for mounting it uh, on a wall. It has four rubber feet, which haven't decomposed yet. Uh, on the stem here, well, we have a crack in the base, because this thing looked like uh, someone beat it uh, around, like they threw it around. The, uh, the grill is also a bit beat up. Um, this was like all deformed and all that, so I had to put it back into shape. So yeah, we have that crack. On the stem we have a tilt adjustment here. It goes all the way down to 90 degrees for putting it on the wall. Let's see, in the bottom we've got the power switch very stylish I don't know why it has a 0 and a 1 to indicate the power state off or on and then it has a 2 in the switch I have no clue why we have a very very stylish Taurus logo there very espanol but yeah so on the top here we have the motor inside here simple AC motor we have this which is for the uh, swivel sorry um, swing motion yeah this thing has swing how cool is that so what you do is when you turn it on it doesn't do anything now but if you twist this and engage it it and then just the swing, swinging motion. Yeah, that's cool. And pretty unsafe. Uh, well, actually, if, if you stop it while it is swinging, it simply goes ahead and unscrews itself and stops swinging so it doesn't burn or anything. Uh, let's take a look at the blades and turn it off just to be a little bit safer. It won't cut your fingers off. It doesn't have the force to really do that. Uh, 
maybe it'll break one of your bones nothing major uh, so yeah we have these three blades with quite a cool design there we have that disc in the back which is for cooling the motor this has some ridges in there which uh, push air well pull air rather all the way from here right to the front and yeah we, we have the hub here with this little cap which is really cute and yeah i think that's about it let's just turn it on that is nice <laughs> it is like 38 39 degrees celsius in here right now so you don't even you don't even know how nice this feels so yeah i think yeah i i re -looped the entire thing so it has new grease everywhere and oil and all that so yeah that's i think that's it for this fan and for this video yeah thanks for watching